With gas prices at some of the highest levels in the nation, thieves have been getting creative, siphoning gas right out of parked cars. A woman in Mission Bay is facing a steep mechanic bill after what thieves did to her car. CBS 8's Tim Blodgett has her story. Over the last week, San Diego County has seen another increase in the price of gas. A five cent jump at the pump puts the average price of a gallon of unleaded at $5.85, a dollar 44 more than the national average. No, it's definitely not cheap right now. Gas is expensive, food is expensive. Waking up in the morning in San Diego is expensive these days. When Cindy Stratton walked out to her Ford Ranger Monday morning, she found that she was running on empty. Stratton parks her car here in a public lot across the street from Belmont Park in Mission Bay. When she took it to a gas station to fill it up. And all of a sudden, gas was just pouring all over the ground, all over the gas station. I grabbed the, the pump out of the car and really just sat there watching gas just pour from the bottom of, of my car. I just didn't really know what to do. There was really nothing to do. When she called a mechanic, she realized that someone had gone under her car, drilled a hole in the bottom of her gas tank, and siphoned fuel with a hose, leaving her on empty and a steep mechanic bill that could run her over $1,000 to fix a tank. She filed a police report, but has not heard back from SDPD. There's just a lot of crimes of, of opportunity, if you will, some petty crimes. People are desperate. For hardware, there are no options to preemptively prevent someone from drilling into your tank and taking the gas, but there are locks you can get for your gas cap. Experts at AAA say you should always park your car in a well-lit indoor garage or somewhere with high foot traffic, like along a city street. While Stratton is frustrated with the steep bill and the hassle she has to go through, she still loves living in Mission Beach, though she wants her neighbors to stay vigilant. It's not something that, that feels very good, and unfortunately, I think we're seeing a lot of it, you know, in our beach communities up and down the county. Tim Blodgett, CBS 8.